Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Mapbox lift system. This right here is less than 10 pounds. It replaces 40, almost 46 pounds worth of weight. I'm going to go over each individual section of the lift system, which stands for the Lightweight Integrated Field Transport System. Being a veteran-owned company, we had to make an acronym. So there it is, the Lightweight Integrated Field Transport, the lift system. Let's start at the beginning with the S lift. So this right here is a 10 ounce soft stretcher SSE bag that can be vacuum sealed down to something that could fit into the palm of your hand. This was one of the first products we ever developed in the lift system, uh, followed by the ladder and then the rigid litter and then the coupler device. So I'm gonna go over all of these here in a second. So this right here, 10 ounces, fits in the palm of your hand. It comes vacuum sealed in this configuration here and it also comes as a bag first. Primary reason was because as we were developing this, we knew that majority of the time and majority of the units that we worked with and, and, and support, um, one of the first things that is left behind is a litter. And, um, but what guys do need to carry or have the ability to carry is a lightweight bag that they can either put computers, documents. If they do take a casualty, they can put the, you know, the, uh, the helmet and sensitive items from that down soldier in that bag. And so it comes like this first. It's vacuum sealed in this pack. Again, it only weighs 10 ounces. Uh, if you open that bag, you have this huge sensitive site or casualty collection bag that's made out of ripstop. It has a uh, one strap here as a, as a shoulder strap that you could throw over. Um, and, and a big large mouth in here is where you can throw like, again, computers and whatever you need into. Draw string to tighten it, uh, keep things as secure in there. The way we recommend this being deployed out in the field is essentially whatever the smallest element that you're going to get down to. So let's say if you have a two-man element, you can get down into like a fire team thing, or maybe your element is as small as about four guys. Um, and so if that's the case, maybe one for four. If it's down to two, one for two guys. And the reason being is not everybody needs to carry this, um, but you do want to have the ability to support. And so, like I said, if you had if you had one and four guys or maybe uh, one and two guys, um, what can happen then is if it's me and um, another shooting pair and then we link up with another shooting pair, now we have two. Um, if we do take a casualty within those four guys and we've got two of these, I could take this, I can undo this little Velcro piece, unzip this, and now I have a very lightweight stretcher that me and the other three guys could use to carry the uh, down, uh, down patient out in. Anybody that's carried anybody any distance in a soft stretcher knows that it absolutely sucks. It hurts your arms. It hurts your forearms. It hurts your hands. Um, it's not a quick and efficient way to move a patient on the battlefield. The design with this was to get the guy off the X, get them back to a position of cover or concealment, um, to get them out of small arms range fire so that you could transfer them to a rigid litter. Um, again, as, as you saw at the beginning, that casualty collection bag, part of it, that big bag, you could take that right from another um, person and then you could put his helmet and his body armor or something like that in there. So that's how we designed it is to, to, to have the ability to be used throughout the element, maneuvering element so that not everybody needs it, but you want to have maybe 50% of the people that you're out there uh, deployed with or maneuvering with at least have have it. And then again, in the like in the element where um, if you're down to like a one and two guys or one and four guys. So this is the SSE bag, S lift, um, soft letter, litter that can go in. It's a standalone product in the lift system. Uh, the other thing that's cool about this is you can actually take this and add these, add the poles to this to make a really neat thing. So I'm going to show that here in a second. And so one of the things that you'll see throughout the lift system is that the combat carbon poles are the backbone of this whole thing. So here I have the S lift that I just went over already configured with the poles. And I'm going to show a link in the comment section below on how to get this set up this way. And so you could actually have this um, around uh, an assault bag or uh, mount it directly into or have it actually like loaded into a bag directly. Um, but what it does is it gives you the ability that at night under nods, you can take this and you can quickly deploy this without having to route the poles 
um, through the little loops and things. So I'm going to show that real quick here. So here you go, now you have a three and a half pound semi-rigid stretcher that you can transport a patient a um, longer distance, right? Just because it does give you the uh, ability to carry with the poles and then you can have this uh, patient sitting in here, but a lightweight way to transport a patient if you're having to carry them a further distance and you don't wanna just carry them and rely on the, on the soft stretcher again, um, depends on the mission. Uh, we know that guys in mountain regions or other areas where they're trying to go very uh, lightweight, uh, this is a great uh, way to get rid of the rigid litter um, or, you know, maybe like a sled or something like that and have the ability to get over rocks or other areas. Um, but a simple way to carry a patient, this thing only weighs three and a half pounds. And again, the beauty is, is these poles are the backbone of this whole thing. And I'm going to show you how to make the ladder here in a second. All right, so hey, now moving into the next uh, product on the lift system is the ladder attachment. So this is called the lift ladder. Uh, it's the attachment that can go with the poles. This right here is rated to 400 pounds, and that's for bridging or scaling. Um, it's a seven and a half foot ladder. So it's perfect for getting over conic boxes or small parapet walls um, or compound walls that might have just, you know, like an eight foot wall or a 10 foot wall that you could get up and, and hop over. Um, but really lightweight, really easy to stow into another bag or carry, or you could carry it with the poles already attached in here. Um, we have a bunch of videos showing how to break this down, set it up. The biggest thing to, to do and the biggest way to set this thing up for success is before you go out on that night uh, or that operation, make sure that you set the pole or make sure you set the ladder up so that everything is kind of configured in this setting where you have your top rungs or you have your top uh, holders here you have all the rungs set up and everything is configured really easily so that all you have to do when you get to like a set point or when you're getting ready to climb you can unvelcro this you can take this bottom part off of here kind of have that stowed out of the way and then all you're doing is you're taking your poles and you're going to attach them down into here and then basically take this and drape it down. So I'm gonna show that video here right now. Hey, and so you can see here, uh, Casey and I are taking this, you're putting the uh, poles at the top of the um, ladder and now you're just slowly draping it down and then securing the bottom with the little attachments here um, on, on the rung. They're tension fit, so all you have to do is step on the bottom rung and then pull slightly pull that uh, attachment and it'll actually uh, lock that in place. So one of the questions that we do get asked about the uh, lift ladder is if you can take two ladders and connect them together with our coupler device. Um, the answer is no, um, just simply because there's not a good way to attach it on here. And then the other thing is, is um, because we rated these to 400 pounds, both scaling and bridging, by the time you get that extra ladder um, out to distance and you try to put it across, uh, like let's say you put it across two rooftops, um, you'd need so much overhang that it really doesn't give you any increased capability just because of how much um, the middle of the ladder system, so you have you know a 15-foot ladder, um, would start to flex and bend. And so there's just not a really good way. And you know we could make a longer ladder, but then it wouldn't be backwards compatible with the rest of the lift system. So um, right now what we have is a 7.5-foot ladder and then the ability to take this um, and attach it to uh, the poles. And I'm going to show that here now. So one of the one of the great things, so this little device here is called the uh, lift coupler. Um, extremely lightweight, only weighs a few ounces. And what this does is it allows you to connect two poles end to end. And so I'm going to show that right now. So if I take this, I attach it onto the end here. I can lock this down. And then I could take the next pole
and I can attach that as well. Got the coupler device here. I've got one pole at the top here and I've got one pole down here. It gives me a 15 foot extension. The reason we designed this was for urban climbing, the ability to take this, um, attach a, um, some kind of like caving ladder or rope ladder to the top with a hook. You could attach it up to the top of a building or rooftop, get there, as well as for if you're doing VBSS or visit board search and seizure missions, where you only have a short free board that's only maybe 15 feet, you've got the ability to use your, your poles to, to quickly get up to that 15 foot mark. And again, being that, you know, once you get up there, you can take these poles, break them down, put them back into the lift ladder, and now make a seven and a half foot ladder to get over those conex boxes or finish help clearing while you're doing your sh uh, shipboarding. So the coupler device is awesome little uh, product to have in your bag. It just gives even more capability to the lift system in that. All right, here you go. You have the R lift, which stands for Rigid Lightweight Integrated Field Transport System. This right here is the workhorse of the lift system. It uh, comes already with the poles, the bed, the carrier uh, is optional. Um, most people do get the carrier with it, um, but the grand, the great thing is, is as small as this is and as easy as this is to pack, uh, you don't have to get with the pack. Uh, with the pack. Uh, it can easily go into your med bag or another assault bag. But this coupled with the lift ladder gives you an increased capability because the medic no longer has to carry these poles. The assault guys can carry the ladder already set up, and now the medic only has to carry this tiny little uh, rigid bed. So why is this the uh, workhorse? Well, you'll see here in a second, this thing right here replaces a lightweight, lightweight rigid litter that weighs 16 pounds, and this thing only weighs six and a half pounds. So almost 10 pounds of savings just with this right here. Um, it also comes with an integrated head pillow and a mylar thermal blanket to help with uh, you know, uh, patients from going hypothermic. So I'm gonna go into the uh, details here in a second, but this is the R lift by Mapbox, and we're gonna go over it now. All right, so here is the bed itself. It's really lightweight, really easy, uh, again, to pack out. The poles are here on this, and you simply just take the poles out and slide them down uh, the, the little like sleeves here to create that rigid litter. So I'm gonna do that here. Okay, so one of the things that messes guys up from time to time is they put this on the wrong side. So what you need to make sure you do is you have the pole on the inside of uh, this little strap so that when you pull and get this tight, uh, it just secures in here and then you can Velcro this around. All right, so now that I have the poles routed in the sleeves and I showed you quickly, just making sure that you check to make sure down at the bottom where the poles go into the sleeves that you make sure that the, the little strap is routed correctly. But here I have a uh, head pillow that I can inflate to align the spine correctly. I have uh, retention straps here. The nice thing is, is this is just a simple X pattern so that you can put patient's head there, uh, crotch down here, come up, quickly get this one, one clip, and now you've got the patient secured here. Down at the bottom of the R lift is a mylar thermal blanket that you can pull up and quickly wrap around the patient to help with uh, hypothermia. But again, this thing right here only weighs six and a half pounds. Super lightweight, easy to carry. This is our ghost heavy material, so it's super strong. It's lightweight. It also will not absorb any type of chemicals and fluids. Uh, you can quickly spray it off, decon it, and then you can put it right back into your bag and get ready for the next operation or mission. So. This is, again, the workhorse of the lift system. This is called the Rigid Litter or R-Lift. You have your neck pillow retention here, patient retention straps here, mylar, mylar thermal blanket, comes with two poles. Great thing to add to your system. And so if you're interested in the lift system or any of the other products within Mapbox, check out mapbox.com, email us at sales at Mapbox. Hit us down below if you've got a comment about using the product or any ideas of how to expand the lift system. Thanks for tuning in.